Hi there and welcome back. Let us look at this example over here. We are going to react to methyl 1-butene plus methanol to give us TAME, which is third amyl methyl ether. Let's feed everything at 7,000 kilograms per hour. For this example, let us use COCO simulation. We previously used DW sim. Do you show to check out that video in case you prefer to use that simulation? Okay, let's start. To add the property package and the reaction, one can open the settings tab. Now for this, you can do it either way around. You could have easily opened configure T to add your property package or configure con to add your reaction but for this example I just decided to add everything from my settings tab to configure your property package name your file add your compounds and set the thermodynamic mode once done you can click OK to configure your reaction you can title your file add your compounds and create a reaction ID do you set the stoichiometry coefficients accordingly in this case, our balanced reaction is a ratio of 1 is to 1 is to 1. Hence, our reactants will have a negative 1 and our product a positive 1. Once you're happy, you can exit and close everything. Now, the first step will be to add our feed stream, which is stream number 1. For the first stream, do set your temperature, your pressure, and your mole fractions. Let us add 0 0.5 to methyl 1 butene and 0 0.5 methanol. Next, let us add our Gibbs reactor. Select all the reactive compounds. Select the conversion. Define the outlet temperature we are going to feed everything at ambient temperature hence we are going to say liquid phase once that is complete let us add our outlet liquid stream insert the stream report then run your file after running our file we can see that we achieved a great conversion of our methyl third pentyl ether at 0 0.96 which is great we can pump everything into our first distillation column by inserting a pump relevant streams and our distillation column let's use a simple list Distillate. For the first distillate, let's have 35 stages. Set your column pressure and select the cam sub. A second page will pop up. Do define your thermodynamic properties, your pressure. You can also define the column spec or leave it like that since this is our first trial. You can also check the operations tab and ensure that you are feeding your feed where you want to feed it. Let's feed it at the 18th stage. Once you're happy, do close everything. Connect all the relevant streams, which is our D1, the distillate from the first column, and the bottom stream which is our product TAME. We can run the file to observe what we obtained so far. Everything is looking great with a conversion of 1 for our bottom stream. Now let us introduce the second distillation column so that we can purify more of our first distillate. Repeat the very similar steps here, more like cloning. Define the pressure of the column. Select the chem sub. Distillate. Let's work with a simple distillation column. A second tab will open up. Do define the thermodynamic properties. Your pressure. Again, we are not going to change much of the column spec. Our operations. We can feed everything at the 16th stage stage and close. You can run your file and everything is looking great. Now we can observe that for the D2, which is our second distillate, we did achieve a high conversion of 2-methyl 1-butene, which is great, and less of methyl 3rd pentyl ether at the second distillate, which is really great. Let's recycle back the second distillation column into our process. Connect all the relevant streams. Once happy, you can solve. After careful observation, I noticed that my pump was not doing any work. So for this scenario, I decided to just remove it. And there we go. We did achieve a great conversion of our product on the first distillation column at the bottom. Not so much on the second distillation column. We only got 95%. Roughly not bad. One can also introduce another third distillation column to just try and achieve a higher conversion or manipulate your variables. This was great and nice to solve. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Bye.